Hello YouTube, this is Zero Echo with a water fountain tutorial. I do not know why I have like 5,000 creatures in this area, but we're just going to go ahead and jump this way a little bit and get to working. Alright, we're going to start with an 8 by 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, and then you can go on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kind of the last one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. You got an eight by seven. Should be. Device. Anyways, you're going to want to go ahead and clear it all out. So you get something like that. Then what you're going to want to do is go three deep. So one, two, three. Just like so. clear all this out. I could fast forward this, but I'm not going to because I like people to actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Alright. So... While I'm doing this, I'm almost done. Man, that's pretty much what you're going to look like when you're done with that. Then you're going to want to just fill this whole bottom in with spruce. Well, you can use whatever you'd like, but uh, on my server, uh, Realm of Echoes, I have a medieval theme. Right now, I'm just in uh, basic standard single player create mode. Giving y'all tutorials on some pretty neat stuff. Anyways, this is a pretty simple build anyways. It's probably one of my real first tutorials. I got an ugly giant boogie coming towards me. Alright, so once you do that, you're going to want to go around the outside edge. Well, inside edge with a uh, spruce tree, like so. I don't know why those are in here, but <laughs> we're going to fight it. I will kill you. You're going to want to go three up on each corner, like so. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like so. And then you're going to have this. Okay, once you got this, you're going to want to go over here. Well, I should say, over here to the middle two and put one there and one there. Like so. And you want to go that up three high. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Three, counting the bottom one, of course. And then what you're going to do is place upside down stairs all the way oh, around, like so. And you're going to have that. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is go one, two, three, four. Add four blocks, too high, like so. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and go one, two. Oh, you don't want to do the corners. And you're going to go around like that. 
Why did I miss one over here? Okay, that's why. I missed one on both sides. Sorry about that, guys. So you're going to want four on this side, four on this side, three on this side, and uh, three on this side. So it's going to look like you're not going to want it on the bottom of the stair. You're going to want it on the top. Anyways, once you got that, I'm going to go ahead and do this step first. You're going to go one up, one over. And do that all the way around, but skip a block. Like that. And then what you're going to do is put a stair and a stair. Like that. But you're also going to want to put blocks underneath each in every one of those, like so. Now I'll show you another side. So you're going to want to go... If I can get up. One up, one over. And you're going to stare. One back, one in front. Delete the back one. Same with the slab. One up, one over. Delete the back one. So you have it like that. And then what you're going to want to do with your half slab is put it underneath every one that you just did. So you're going to have one on the half slab, pretty much a block. Uh, one on your stair, and pretty much a block. And then you're going to do that over here as well. But you're going to do the same thing. But you're going to skip two. And then you're going to do two stairs. Like so. Like that. Three, four. Alright, and you're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. So you're going to one up, one over. One up, one over. And same with the stairs. And then underneath, you're going to do a half slap underneath every one. Like so. Until you have this. And I'll show you why that's important here in a second. Alright, now for this part. Oh. My bad. You're going to want to go up one more. So it's going to be a total of three from the ground. From standing on this, go up. One, two, three. And over one two three and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put upside down stairs all the way around but instead of doing it completely just around you're gonna add one so that there's a gap behind this and I'll show you what I mean here so that there's a hole so you're pretty much doing a circle but leaving a gap like so like so and what you're going to want to do is take some mossy cobblestone wall and place it in the center two of them just like so and then what you're going to do is add some uh, Celsius stone brick on top and then you're going to do four cobblestone walls <coughs> all the way around like so I was going to say I wonder if I could do that <coughs> okay so once you got that you're going to want to get some glowstone and as well as some trap doors and some redstone candles alright and what you're going to do is oh without throwing it on the ground you're going to place this all the way around the bottom on that half last half slab you put down like so
Alright, then with your glowstone, you're gonna place one on each corner. Like so. And you're gonna put one of these around the whole thing. Just like that. Pretty simple build, guys. It's uh, one of my actually first builds I actually did by myself was this. Well, actually, it wasn't, but pretty close to. One of the easiest things to make is a fountain. That's not that hard. There you go. And then with your uh, redstone torches, just for a little design, you can go ahead and place them around on each of these oop, cobblestone walls you put on each corner. Just like so. And it gives it an, a pretty cool look at night. And then which most important ingredient of this whole build is a bucket of water. You're going to place one on this one and one on that one. And voila. And the mossy stone, that was uh, my border. That's how I had it in my original. But uh, the only reason I didn't do it in this one is because you can pretty much use anything you want. Depending on the walkway you're going to build. I just, in my... Uh, my server, uh, my theme to the kingdom I'm uh, currently building is medieval. So I have kind of like something like this pretty much all the way around. But I also have iron block because I'm using uh, the conquest texture pack. So. So it's pretty much like this, all the way around, into a walkway on my server. Uh, had a little issues with my server tonight, that's the only reason I'm doing it on this, is because, uh, single player mode I mean, is because, like I said, I was having some issues with my server, and uh, I contacted them and they said it was just, you know, they were gonna go down for some maintenance or whatever for a little bit, so that's pretty much why uh, I had to uh, stop the t this original tutorial and redo it all over again because they were going down for a little while. So I kind of just, you know, was like, all right, well, I'll go to single player mode and. Redo the whole thing. Even though I was pretty much just finished. And uh, it shut down. Now granted I did still have the video. So if I wanted to I could have just. Posted it up. On YouTube. But it turns out my headset. That I'm using currently right now. Is just Turtle Beaches. Nothing too fancy. And uh. My turtle beaches were acting up, so the whole time I was talking, all you heard was like static, and uh, it was uh, was not was not cool. So pretty much, instead of just cutting my voice out and using text, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and remake it because you know. It's the best thing to do instead of having to, you know, just implement the text into it, which wouldn't be all that cool. So I figured, hey, I'll just, you know, remake it on single player mode. It's not a hard build, doesn't take very long. But, uh, pretty much you can do it with any material you'd like. Uh, like I said, my theme in my uh, server is medieval, so I'm kind of trying to go with a bunch of medieval looks, you know. And if any of you have any good ideas, you know, hey, shoot them my way, I'll be interested. 
Love to have some of y'all's ideals. Y'all are the smart ones, the most intelligent ones. So, but with that being said, uh, once I get my server fixed, I still want to do build days and, uh, you know, get a bunch of cool people up on my server. We can all build some cool stuff, you know. But anyways, that's pretty much how mine is on my server. Uh, just about, not exactly. It's more like that. And then on this side, I have like, it drops like 100 feet, and there's like a river. But, uh, that's pretty much the basic build, you know. A neat little castle with a neat, or castle, psh, a neat little fountain with a nice little walkway. I mean, you can implement it into a town square, you know. So that way you could put a bunch of traders around it. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple to build, as you can see. You can just go ahead and put like some. <coughs> Oop. Put some uh, traders in. It's not hard. But yeah, it's. Yeah. Anyways, put a little trader in here. You know, I'm just kind of winging this. I'm not really doing anything special here. Just kind of show y'all a little example of what you can do with this fountain or around this fountain. If you just want to implement it into you, whatever you're doing, that's fine. You know, you don't have to do what I do. Uh, I'd rather you take what I give you, turn around, and, you know, make it your own, you know, instead of copying exactly what I do, the, the exact same materials. You know, it's cool, and I'm not saying don't do it, but, you know, if you can come up with your own ideals, you should, go ahead, come up with your own ideals, uh, make it your own way, and, you know, uh, send the video back to me, and I'll, uh, I'll definitely check it out, and, you know, hey, who knows, I can implement it into my, uh, my kingdom that I'm working on. There you go. A little trader. Nothing special. You can even, if you want, put a like, little trapdoor in here. Like so. That way you can go in and out. And there you go. You can also go... You know, a little storage room. Like so. But as you can see, you can pretty much do anything you want. Oh, and it's starting to rain. With a little bit of lag, guys, I'm sorry about the lag. Make it daytime. And there you go. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is Zero Echo. And, uh, running around my echoes. Not at the moment, but, uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you'd like. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If not, thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more, guys. Uh, this is Zero Echo. Out.